Civilization or Barbarism, an Authentic Anthropology by Dr. Sheikh Antijab. Likewise, no cultural barrier could play any role since both subspecies, the so-called pre-sapiens and the Neanderthal, were associated with same Acheulean and Taesian industries. Let us recall that the classical Maustrian industry of Neanderthal man was definitely and paradoxically more highly developed than the above mentioned industries attributed to pre-sapiens. So much so that at the 1969 UNESCO colloquium on the appearance of modern man, care was taken to the best of my relic recollection to a disassociate cultural evolution industry from morphological evolution. This was done in order to eliminate the insurmountable obstacle just raised above, namely, how can a morphologically and physically more primitive being such as Neanderthal man be responsible for an industry coming out of a materially more advanced and perfected culture than the more highly evolved pre-sapiens. The study of the Biache St. Vascal, a new pre-Neanderthal recently discovered in the north of France, led van der Mies to conclude that Swanscombe Man and Fanta Chavad and all the other fossil, fossils found in Europe prior to the appearance of Homo sapiens about 37,000 years ago in this region belong to the Neanderthal lineage. Let us add that according to Valois and Eschringsdorf, Man, the number one skull of Sacopastoria and the Steinholm skull and Heidelberg man all belong to that same lineage. According to Van der Meesch, because of the Biash skull, the gap that separated pre Neanderthals from pre Sapiens is considerably reduced. All of the pre Neanderthals. The Biasco is one of that is closest to Swanscombe Man, all the more so because the cranial region of the Biash, which represents the most pronounced Neanderthalian features, is the mastoid region that no longer presents the Swanscombe skull. The latter appears to be more modern, or one might say, archanthropic, for it is older and closer to the birth of lineage, therefore less specialized in Neanderthalian sense. This a general law of evolution. Thus, anthropothic man, coming most probably from Africa, may have begun during the mendel reese interglacial period to assume individual features on the order of the Neanderthal type because of climactic conditions in the paleo environment. At the beginning of the Reese Verm period, 80,000 years ago, the evolutionary process that was to end in the cul de sac of Neanderthal man was completed, and the Neanderthal population of Europe remained homogeneous during Verm 1 and 2, practically speaking, from 80,000 to 40,000 years ago, and I will stop right there. Hi, it's Hartman. I'm your bro, Rodney. This is Civilization or Barbarism.